Hi everybody, Hannah Gilman, your Relationship Mastery with Confidence and Dignity coach. Can you believe today is video 21? Woo! It's so, I can't believe it. And I'm having so much fun being with you every day. It's fabulous. This is another view of my back. I've changed sides of the pool. So those are apartment uh, buildings. And this is, I'm facing the clubhouse. Anyway, I've got a lot to say. Here it goes. You know, I've been talking to you about having the conversation of what garbage means to you and when whoever doesn't take it out. So I want to tell you that um, I want to see who's on here, if anybody. So I want to tell you that um, it's not always going to work the first time you do it, right? My coaching is about you changing you. You want to be a more vulnerable uh, feminine woman? Communicate this way. Stop manipulating. But if you listen to Hannah Gilman for five minutes and she says, do this, and you go try to have that conversation, you're still only trying to manipulate to get the garbage because you haven't done the work on you to bring you to the conversation. So if anybody, one person I know has, but if anyone else has made the mistake of trying to do it and they got so shot down, I'm here to tell you it's no surprise. You've been married seven years, 18 years, 24 years. Things have been bad for a while. You've been harping on whatever you harp on. He knows when you're coming at him. And just because you think you're doing better, he hasn't caught up yet. He doesn't know what's going on here. But I don't think you should tell him either. But this is when you have to have the backside of the work, right? Like all my computer, uh, everyone thinks, oh, you just go on and go live on Facebook. No, what I, my breakdowns before the breakthroughs, remember? So I do want to tell you a great story. Um, there was a woman, this wasn't me coaching her, but it's a story. There was a woman who, um, she and her husband were married. They were not able to have children. They had no kids. And basically they were good. I mean, they loved each other. They wanted to be with each other, all of that. But she came home from work after him every day. And uh, every day that she arrived home, the garage door was open. And she couldn't understand, why can't the guy close the garage door? What's the big deal? He's not closing the garage door. Every day it was another, well, why do my neighbors need to see what's in my garage? And this built up and built up and built up. And every day she's driving home, is the garage door going to be closed? Is it going to be closed today? Is it going to close? The and every day it was open. This went on for months. Okay, finally with help, etc., they decided, she sat down to talk with him. And uh, they had a conversation about different things and she said can I speak to you about the garage door and he said yeah what about it she goes why every day that I come home is that garage door open why do the neighbors have to see our what is in our garage what so he goes oh he said that garage door is never open. I go down two minutes before you're supposed to come home to open it as a way to greet you. That's my welcome home to you. I'm telling you, <laughs> it is worth it to have conversation. It is worth it to ask better questions. It is worth it to do the work. Yes, do it. Okay. So. Yesterday we talked, the last two days we talked about who do you want to be. Today I want to talk about what kind of a world do you want to live in. You live in your communities, you live where you live, you work where you work, but what do you want that to look like? Are you a person that is constantly scanning for occasions to be offended? Like you just know that they're going to say something again. Or do you constantly scan, I'm shooting a video, <laughs> do you constantly scan for problems? What is your, what is your, who are you in your, in your world, in your life? There's an abundant mindset and there's a lack and scarcity mindset. The lack and scarcity mindset usually goes, it's all so hard, 
Nothing ever works out for me. There's too much month at the end of the money. Um, my kids are just, they don't listen. He said it, did it again. My sister, uh, I didn't get the client again. It's all just so hard, right? Or you have an abundant mindset. What does an ab abundant mindset do? We scan for possibilities, for opportunities. How cool is that? Oh, I love that. Look at how that just happened. I just went to Sprouts and bought radishes two for a dollar. They charged me for one. The manager was next to her. I said, oh, there's two radishes in there. They said, oh, you're here all the time. Take them home and enjoy them. I said, you don't? They said, no, just go. I love that. I love that. Things happen to me about like that all the time because I'm scanning for possibilities today. You know, I'm a big believer in to change your thinking, you have to change your thoughts. To change, to change your thoughts, you have to change your verbiage. And you can't just not think it because you don't want to think it. You're, you can't turn thoughts off. So we, re we replace it. And I tell myself all day, every day, in the car, in my house, everything always works out for me. Everything always works out for me. And you know what? It does. Have a prosperity, abundant mindset. The lack and scarcity mindset has a lot of black and white thinking. You use the words never, ever, always, she never, he always, they never, it doesn't. That's, that's negative. That's lack and scarcity. And you know what another big lack and scarcity is, ladies? You don't have a conversation because, well, I know what he's going to say, so it's not going to be worth it. I promise you that's shooting you in the foot. So I want you to become aware of what world do you live in and what world are you creating? Now, a big piece of your world and who's in it and how it works is who do you hang out with? Studies show that you, anyone, is the average of the five people closest to you in your life. So break your life out. Let's look at relationships, finances, um, physical fitness. Who are you hanging out with? If you are the one that everyone's turning to for advice, my son, I took my son once with me to a mindset um, conference a few years back. And this is, we learned this there. So the next year I went and he said to me, um, <laughs> he said to me, who, who, are you, who are your five closest friends? He says, if you're at the top of the list, you got to dump them. You want people that are going to inspire you, pull you, encourage you, not be afraid of your next steps because they've already succeeded in the next step. Remember, we're trying to get out of comfort zones. We want to break through. We want to grow. This is how I live my life today. If I'm excited, it's because I'm excited. Hi, Moshe and Dasi. It's because I'm excited about my life. I love it because everything always works out for me. It does. And it can for you, too. Do the work. You can't do this alone. Don't think you can do it alone. Don't go have that conversation. And here's what I coach my women. Anything, an issue that you want to learn with me or be coached on or work on, it is not for any reason that you want to become that kind of woman. Right? You want to get the guys? Be the woman that a guy likes. Are you a woman that you let be made happy? Or is there always something wrong with whatever they tried? Remember when we talked about move the couch there and the bed there and you walked in in the middle of the mess and said, oh, I didn't ask for the mess, put it back. He was trying to make you happy. He really was. You shot that down. Might be a while before he tries again. Anyway, I've shoved a lot in here. I love you people. <laughs> I love coming here every day. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye.